could you walk us through the thought process of why would you feel that Singapore needs a, another digital bank? So what was that thought process? I think it's a great question. I think as you know, Singapore has multiple banks and the banks are uh, fairly successful in offering multiple products. Almost all banks offer extensive digital apps and through the apps you can do almost every feature that you can think of. But at the same time, when you compare your experience of a digital native app against a banking app being offered by one of the conventional banks, you always find there is an experience deficit. Very often things don't work as seamlessly. Things are not real time. Yeah. Sometimes people still receive physical documents from their banks. Yeah. So the first reason is that we believe that we can actually differentiate on experience, that we can bring an experience uplift which clients are looking for. Secondly, obviously over the last few years, the digital infrastructure has significantly improved. If you look at MyInfo or SingPass, which almost every Singapore resident has, and which offers you a unified digital identity, it makes digital onboarding so much easier. Yep. Number three, if you look at the pandemic, and as we all know, it was a tough time for everyone. But on the flip side, it really accelerated digi digitalization. If we look at even seniors, over 80% of senior seniors today say that they are using digital banking, which yeah. they did not use to earlier. So if you take a confluence of all these factors, it seemed to us that this is the right moment to disrupt. And this is the right moment to create a new model, a new model of digital banking, which will be much more seamless, which will be much more user-friendly, and which will bring new innovations to the market. No, I